Hello all, we are now watching Band of Brothers, episode 8. So in the last episode, Spears has taken over after the complete failure of Lieutenant Dyke being an idiot. And uh, But Easy Company is a little different now because they've lost people that they've we've seen for a while like Garnier and uh, Toy. And it was a very heavy episode and as we approach the end of the war, I suspect things will get heavier. And... I can't, rem I can't remember what they did after the Battle of the Bulge because, as I said in the last episode, uh, there isn't as much information about like U.S. battles after the Battle of the Bulge because after that was just... That sounds kind of mean, but it sounds it's basically like the mass surrender of those Germans by the river and some basically cleanup operations through cities. But a lot of it, they uh, had to go through it house by house. So, I wonder if the show would cite this. Other than that, yeah. That's uh, basically it for... Uh, and we're going to start. Let's go. came to me... Yeah, hey, Eugene. ...about ten minutes after he was killed. And he wanted me to see if I wanted to go look at him. And I said, no, I wouldn't be able to stand that. So, I, I didn't go look at him. And that's your best. The Last Patrol. Just across the river. I had missed that stop. All I knew was what I had read and heard around the replacement depot. That we had oh, so he's the a new recruit. The and the war would soon be over. Oh, yeah. He was from the uh, early episode when he rescued Bull. Oh. This is the guy that said that I look like Paul Red. Jones looking for Captain. I think this is Tom Hanks' son. No, thank you. Oh. I think. Tom Hanks' son? I forgot his name, though. What platoon are you in? I need a lead scout or translator. How about the entire battalion on covering fire? When? D Day, yes, sir. Uh, all right. Don't get hurt. <laughs> sir, I'd like to rest. Captain, request permission to go on the patrol. Experience. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. So he's now leading their platoon. That's funny because he has more experience than him, but they're going to be both treated as replacements. Mm. Are there other officers in the platoon? OP2. This way? Shit! Yeah. No! No! Congratulations on the battlefield commission. <laughs> what? So you want to introduce me to the men? <laughs> no? Some are sleeping downstairs, the rest are right here. <laughs> I mean, this isn't like class. Yeah, yeah I know. Sorry, I'm not. Control's being planned for tonight. Zero was just to pick 15 men. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Jones wants to be one of them. Yeah, so I have to keep out. Probably to find 14 replacements to help them out. <laughs> God. I take it this was already an outpost for you. Can't let them let you know. Your secret safe lab. <laughs> what was it? He's gonna spill it immediately. <laughs> Tune on me! 
name because the dynamic his uh his uniform is brand new everyone else looks like shit yeah. you can just no, identify immediately super neat and clean nah, more than malarkey though if it was possible for them to switch places for the patrol it would be a small moment of justice Hershey she bars. Yeah, who they for? Not you. Oh, come on, George. One bar. No, there's not enough to go around. You gotta be shitting me. Fuck off, guys. Like we do with the police, George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did good. Jesus. But I don't know. Maybe. They smoke cigarettes. Oh, this is disorganized chaos. Organized chaos. That's what I'm trying to go for. Use the experience. Denied. Anything else? Another briefing. CP 7900. Yes, sir. They want to see experience so badly. So in mind leading this thing. As you can see, we've assembled 15 of you here for this prisoner snatch tonight. So I want to look. McClung, Sisk, Cobb, Garcia, and Webster, his translator. The rest of you guys are face of fire. Was he deliberately Third. picking him? On him? Good. The show seems to kind of emphasize that. Good luck. Thank you, sir. And hut! As you were, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> nothing rattles, nothing shines, no helmets. No helmets? Oh, wow. You're supposed to stay in the rear and give them cover. Yeah, it's the best place to be. I wonder if Malarkey sympathizes with him. On that. I guess they're burning the site to make the site look clear. I don't know why they'd be doing that. The same mission can be met with disaster and result in nothing more than 15 Americans killed or wounded in action. Yep. Oh, that's neat. Searchlights. Mm Boats are sitting there in plain view on the shoreline. I guess nobody noticed them. Maybe that's why they're black and not like white. Yeah. Something dark. Oh, they still got people in the back. Oh, naturally. So that means with less people covering, that means they have to probably have to join. They can't catch up? I don't know. I want to say they could wait a few minutes, but... I guess they don't want to sit there in the middle of the river. Yeah. Jeez, that must be just loud as hell to them. Yeah, I guess those are for rattling. If someone walks into them, the cans. This is risky, too. They have to capture people alive. Yeah. So, how do you do that? They even put some paint... Yeah. A little bit. Very organized. Yeah. They're all veterans, after all. Mm -hmm. Except for maybe Jones. Well, I do like at least he's not overriding him. Like, I'm in charge now. <laughs> yeah. Taking over. He knows he's an observer and he needs the experience. Yep. Right. That's a good idea, honestly. Sending him as an observer. I mean, it's dangerous it's as hell, so, but yeah. yeah. He's attaching a grenade to his rifle, so he can fire it. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is... Get the translator handle that. Yeah, I know. Get somebody else to do Well, that. he doesn't really speak that much German. True, but he speaks more than the others. That poor Webster that happened to do this. Germans 
Must be tempted to run back. Oh, Jones picked up the whistle, wait. Can you blow it? Yeah. Okay. Some part of the Germans are okay with, you know, going with them. That means the war is over for them. Wow, that's insane. Jones is yeah. running away. Did that hit harder than the other ones? Jesus. Ugh. It was just one more casualty in a war that was supposed to be all but over. Yeah. There you go, regiment. Got your prisoners. You happy? Slightly Jackson took a grenade frag from the enemy. Dined your own grenade, though. Fuck. Thanks, man. Tonight. Oh, fuck. What? Come on, cop. We'll leave someone in the bank. Yeah. Maybe. Because I, I remember they brought three prisoners, yeah. so I was confused when they mentioned I thought the two. third guy was in there, too. Shut up. It's boring, okay? <laughs> Nixon winters? Yep, Nixon winters again. So They're always at that spot. Yeah, he knows. Mm. He also knows you picked up two prisoners. He talked. About what? He gave him the successful patrol. Now he wants to. Successful. <laughs> that Spears just puts his mouth. <laughs> puts hey, his boy. foot right through that gap. <laughs> Did he really need more prisoners? Have you briefed him, man? Uh, just on our way, sir. All right. I damn sure you remind him how proud I am of what they did. Yes, sir. I don't think they. It just shows how disconnected in they a way care. from the yeah. uh, officers yeah. down to the ground, ground the boss. Yeah. I mean, they'll follow orders. Doesn't mean they have to like it. No. Yeah, exactly. Last night we'll go up in flames, Martin. Yes, sir. Means we'd have to venture farther into town this oh, time. Jesus. That's it. Good, because uh, I want you all to get a full night's sleep tonight. Which means in the morning you will report to me that you made it across the river into German lines. We're unable to secure any alive from <laughs> CP. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. You invited him along this time. Mm. Like, your experience is enough. You survived two missions. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Officially, two missions. Uh. First sergeant went to the 120 staff. 
He does. Like that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Major Winters. Everyone's getting promoted. Yeah. No nice. longer replacement. Now he's just one of them. <laughs> Next episode. Man, that only felt like a 10 minute episode. Yeah, that felt really, really short. Holy shit. How long is this episode? Fif it's the 15 same. minutes? That felt really short. It felt like 10 minutes. It felt like. I was so invested. It felt I like. I mean, I've been invested. But... I don't want to say nothing happened, but not much happened overall. Yeah, but... compared to the last episode. Yeah, yeah, but because the last episode was so, so much shit going on, Dyke and the. People being lost left and right. Yeah, and here's is only based around one action. Yeah, and true. This is this had a bit of a bittersweet ending for this episode. I would yeah. say. Oh, that was a very depressing episode. Seeing Jackson die that way. Yeah, you're right. It did hit pretty hard. I wonder if it's that because hit way they... harder than the other ones. Maybe this was the only, only wounded. I guess. It was unnecessary, too. It felt unnecessary, yeah. Yeah. That's what happened. It was all unnecessary. Like, he didn't have to throw the grenade if they were never sitting on this patrol to go capture prisoners who... It didn't matter. Offered because didn't <laughs> much information Probably in the first place. Who knows? Well, yeah, who knows? Yeah. We don't know for sure. But from the soldier's POV, when they're told to do little shit like this, when you feel like the war is about to end, yeah. you're like, what's the fucking point? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <sighs> they just want to go home. It also sounded like the way that he was wording. Oh, the Miami beaches are packed, and you know, like everyone's life standard of living is going up. I'm like, man, that sounds eerily like the pandemic ending, where yeah. everything's going back to normal, but we don't know what it costs. Um, yeah, exactly. What what happened to? Are we talking about the pandemic or this again? Well, we can talk. I don't. I've never really read a lot about the civilian side of World War Two, because there was a ration book, where you had to do, uh, and normal stuff like rubber was really hard to get because rubber was made in Indonesia mm. uh, because of the Japanese oh, yeah. occupied it so they couldn't get rubber stuff like that there was a oh, dear. and you were told you were encouraged to donate scrap metal stuff like that are there movies about civili civilian life during World, World War II? II? Casablanca is the one I could think of <laughs> my dad loves that movie years. so I much I forgot <laughs> we'll always have Paris <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in so long I can't remember what happened. I don't remember the ending. We can probably watch it uh, again. Yeah. The but that's that's the civilian side, but it's also kind of in a war zone, mm -hmm. in a way. It's not really the U.S. I don't know if there's any movie specifically that shows civilian life of the U.S. during World War Two. Maybe someone in the comments can tell us. I can't think of any offhandedly. Maybe Pearl Harbor with that with that love story. <laughs> um, uh, what about but, that movie with James McAvoy and Keira Knightley? Atonement. Atonement. Uh, have you seen? I've seen it. Once. Is that the one where they, uh... James McAvoy's spoilers. character... <laughs> yeah, spoilers. He, um, he gets enlisted. And he dies there, right? Of, yeah, the army, yeah. uh, for reasons that... And Karen Knightley dies in the... Karen Knightley's character dies. You've seen this movie? I have. She died yeah. in the Metro, right? Or something? Yeah. I don't remember. When have you seen this movie? I saw it with you, I'm pretty sure. You did? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I saw I saw it at all. <laughs> well, uh, well, I wonder if it showed Kira Knightley's civilian, civilian life. It probably did, yeah. but we don't know if it was uh, real or not. Remember the author wrote that. The author says at the end that uh, they she both died. It? Yeah, she regretted it. She yeah. wanted to write like a happy ending or something. Yeah, she, I don't remember the exact words. I can't remember either. But perhaps we should talk about the episode. Yeah. So Jackson's death just felt way unnecessarily pointless compared with all the other deaths prior to this. 
I mean, every, obviously, we're death not is saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in general, though, and this episode really felt like it was. What was, was so the point? Drawn out too. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was so. That was so depressing. Yeah. I actually, one. I was so I, I young. Had, I was kind of teary there. I had. I yeah. accidentally grabbed two handkerchiefs <laughs> this time. <laughs> I should have grabbed one. Yeah. Man, that really sucked. I did. And Jones had to like step in just to prevent them from shooting the prisoners. He did a good job, actually. Yeah. Uh, like you, I thought he would run because it's his. Uh, it's a test. To his uh, skills, I mean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, if they, if that's Tom Hanks' son, right? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent certain. I mean, the thing is, if it is sure his it son, is. isn't that nepotism? <laughs> because he's bringing his son. He's the executive producer, and he's bringing Wait his. Wait a minute. Son. Like, oh, sorry. Jamie Bamber, that's the Battlestar Galactica dude. I forgot. Yeah. There it is, Colin Hanks. Okay. That that's his name, yeah. I so forgot. it's nepotism, okay? Tom Hanks shouldn't have done this. How dare you? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but, as long as he's a good actor. Yeah, yeah, he he did his role pretty well. Yeah. Everyone in the show is phenomenal. Like honestly, you can feel everyone's uh, agony in a way. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like the show has completely depicted what World War Two is like, and you, every episode. Every time we watch the show, I feel like, God, this whole thing is just so sad. Yeah, and there's no stupid glory or anything no, you've seen other. In, ho- in Hollywood movies, everyone's like, I'm going to go first and I'm going to sa- die to save your life. But in this yeah. show, it's everyone wants to go home. Yeah, you can see people like Cobb losing it, like drunk. They're just done with this shit. And I don't blame him. Yeah, in a way, I don't blame him. On the other hand, he shouldn't be taking it on the other two. They had, like, they're there with him. He was, and he joined them on the mission, yeah. so you can't complain about Webster. He's been yeah. bullying Webster since... Seriously, Webster looks like... His actor looks like Paul Rudd. I can't get over that. He looks familiar. <laughs> I can't think. kept thinking, oh man, Ant-Man's joining them, but it's not the actor. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And uh, even Winter has caught on that. Uh, this is stupid anyway, so... You guys went on that mission, okay? It says so in the paper. You guys went on that mission. I'm glad he uh, did that for them. Yeah. You could see his tiny, tiny smirk when he said that. I was like, ah, <laughs> sneaky bastard. <laughs> sneaky, <laughs> sneaky. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was really... That was a good episode. Yeah, that was a good episode. Yeah. Um, yeah. God, though, they're going to go in Germany next episode. This will be... What episode is this? Eight? Ep- episode eight. So episode nine, they'll be in Germany. Yeah. And they'll probably finish off the war along with episode ten. Oh, so, yes. uh, yeah. Uh, mm. I think we pretty much covered it. Mm. And we did this all in one battery, too. I'm impressed. Mm, me, too. <laughs> I totally forgot about switching them. Yeah, me, too. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to episode eight of Banner Brothers. And we'll see you guys for episode nine next time. Take care. Peace out. And we'll see you guys next time.